From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your morning update. Kent's Meats and Grocery is much more than a grocery store. We carry a full line of quality meats, local and organic vegetables, and a large variety of fish, Green Mountain Smart Control pellet grills, and a full deli case of sandwiches and side dishes. Good morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Mike Kruger, taking a look at Kruger's Quick Cast here for your Tuesday, November 12th. A little chilly for some of us this morning. There may be some patchy fog for some of those mountain valleys. Otherwise, it's a cool start. I mean, we're down into the low to mid 30s for most of the higher elevations. For the valley in the North Coast, temperatures somewhere in the low to mid 40s. So let's take a look at that satellite image here. So this is the storm system in the cold front that passed through yesterday. If you experienced any gusty winds, it was along this boundary right here. And of course, behind it, we saw scattered showers and uh, even a few thunderstorms. But we're between storm systems. See how we're kind of right in the middle, right between these storms? This is the next one coming in. Now, this one that's coming in here looks to be just a tad colder, number one, and number two, a little bit stronger. So I do expect it to bring us a little bit more rain. And one of the reasons we may see more rain is the fact that it's moving through slower as well. You may recall yesterday, I mean, it moved through pretty quickly. It was kind of one of those brief periods of gusty winds, some heavy downpours for some of you, and then it was gone. And then really it kind of quieted down. So for today, as I mentioned, we're between storm systems. We're not going to see much going on here. There may be a stray sprinkle or a light shower off to the north and west, but the approaching storm system is going to take its time getting here. 5 p.m., we could just clip extreme northern California. So again, not out of the question for these areas here, quite honestly, to maybe see some uh, scattered showers late today. But otherwise, it's dry. Dry for most of northern California throughout the day today. All right, so for today, you know, despite the fact that we're drying things out and clearing things out, it's still cool. Now, these numbers may be a little low, but you get the idea. I think around 60. That's about what we saw yesterday in the valley. I think we'll see the same again today. Now you can see temperatures in the 40s and 50s for the higher elevations. You can see out towards the inland areas around 60. And for the coast, temperatures in the mid to upper 50s for those daytime highs. All right, so let's take a look at your seven-day outlook for the valley. And there's that rain. Now, I don't have any lightning strikes in there, but there could be some thunderstorms Wednesday and Thursday. I do expect to break Friday, Saturday, and then more showers coming in on Sunday. And we'll, we'll kind of really break this down a little bit more in our deeper dive forecast, but you get the idea. For the coast, inland, and for Weaverville, uh, basically what we've got here through the weekend and even into early next week is a cool and unsettled weather pattern. But now it's beginning to look like next week, maybe drier and slightly warmer. Of course, we'll get into that a little bit later as well. Hey, check this out. This is from yesterday. I want to thank Kelly Smith for sending in this image. And you can see at 4,200 feet, Lake McCumber. What's that we see? Is this one of the first snows we've seen in some of those lower elevations? Certainly is the case. And if you want to share your photos, whether it's snow or a beautiful sunrise or sunset or some great clouds, hey, do that. All you have to do is go to the free Weather NorCal app and you can share your pictures. And it's a free Weather NorCal app. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to pay for it. And uh, it's great for your iPhone. Of course, you can also do it from your Android. So once again, I want to thank Kelly for sharing that picture. All right, so we're between storm systems today with a few North Coast showers. But overall, it's mainly a dry day out there today. I do expect the bigger storm to arrive Wednesday. And this one could possibly bring us some heavier rainfall, some gusty winds, and of course, also looking at the potential for some lightning strikes as well. So there's the isolated thunderstorms and gusty winds with the unsettled pattern That'll continue to the weekend and possibly even linger into early next week. So again, there we are between storms. There's the one that moved through yesterday. This is the one that's going to be moving in tonight and into tomorrow. It's a slower moving storm system too. So uh, kind of a lot to unpack here, but basically we've got a wind advisory for tomorrow morning, basically through the day tomorrow. We've got a high wind warning for central Siskiyou County. And we'll see some pretty strong winds. High profile vehicles could be a problem on I-5. That's for 10 o'clock tonight through 4 p.m. Wednesday. You can see gusts up to 60 miles per hour. And for the coast, there is a wind advisory. And that's for 10 o'clock tonight through 1 p.m. Wednesday. You can see gusts 40 to 50 miles per hour. And I'm anticipating that at least the advisory criteria may be making its way into the valley as well. We'll see if that happens, but for now it's mainly for the coast and the higher elevations. Now today, all right, sure, not a problem. But what we're going to start to see happen for the coast in particular is those winds will start to pick up later this afternoon. Gusty winds making their way into central Siskiyou County as well. 
Now we go into tomorrow morning, the cold front's beginning to pass through. This is where the main cold front is, gust 30, even 40 miles per hour. We're also beginning at least in the morning to see those winds pick up for the valley and even in the eastern mountains. Then we go into around noon Wednesday. You see how now we're seeing the brighter colors here to the east. That's because the cold front is kind of moving that area. But behind it still gusts 20 to 30 miles an hour uh, through noon. Look at that. Look at central Siskiyou County. Those are gusts upwards of 50, 60 miles an hour. And there you can see uh, some pretty strong winds here uh, for the valley and some of those foothills too. Now, 5 p.m. Wednesday, you see how it's relaxing, still breezy, still gusty out there, even at 5 p.m. Wednesday. Uh, but by the time we get into Thursday, look what happens. Yeah, we're starting to see those winds begin to relax. Still a little breezy, 10 to maybe 15 miles per hour. And if we see thunderstorms, you can see gusty winds. And I think that's what we're picking up there. But you get the idea here. The main wind event is going to be Wednesday. By the way, look at the severe weather outlook from the uh, Storm Prediction Center. You can see here for tomorrow, the light shades of green indicating that the, there's a chance for thunderstorms. The darker shades of green, which we don't typically see, these colors here are typically reserved and you typically see those colors in the deep south, the Midwest, where they have a lot of severe weather. So for us to get into the darker shades of green, uh, or the yellows or even oranges, very uncommon. So you can see here, this is a better chance for thunderstorms along the coast, but we still have that chance heading eastward as well for tomorrow. And Thursday, just the overall chances for thunderstorms for most of us. I'm not ruling out some thunderstorms here, but I think most of it will be in the valley westward here for your Thursday. All right, so let's take a look at Futurecast, walk you through the timing of all of this. Now, of course, as I mentioned today, it's gonna be a dry day out there today. You can see some of the showers kind of picking up to the north, but overall, just some clouds in the north and west, even some clearing this afternoon for the valley. But now we take you into Wednesday morning, 5 a.m. Look at the snow levels too, by the way. 3,500 to 4,500 feet. Some of those lower elevations around Mount Shasta City, for example, you could possibly see at the very least a rain-snow mix. Maybe, just maybe, if it's cold enough, a light dusting of snow too. But there you can see you got some pretty heavy rainfall there. This is also where we're seeing those gusty winds. Here is 9 a.m. Wednesday. Look at the deeper shades of blue. That is the heavy snowfall that we're seeing in the higher elevations. I'm a little concerned about chain requirements, mainly east of I-5, but I mean, Scott Mountain on Highway 3, most definitely most looking at some heavy snow there. And then there's that rain and possible thunderstorms. Noon Wednesday. So again, this is a slower moving system, but eventually it will shift off to the east here. By 5 p.m. Wednesday, now it's just scattered showers and thunderstorms and some isolated snow flurries. Snow levels climbing a little bit back up to about 4,000 to 5,000 feet. But look at this, as we go into Wednesday night, <clears throat> excuse me, and even through the day on Thursday, we've got scattered showers and maybe some isolated thunderstorms here across the board, mountains and the valley, and of course, again, those snow flurries. So chain requirements are something we're gonna have to pay attention to as we go through the day tomorrow and Thursday. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. There's the rainfall totals on top of what we saw yesterday. We could see another half an inch to even close to an inch here through Wednesday uh, for the valley. More than that to the west, less to the east. Again, that typical footprint, right? Heaviest rainfall here, less and less as you start heading, for the most part, on average, to the east. And then we go into Thursday, we'll probably tack on a little bit more than that. We could possibly see over an inch of rain for parts of the valley. How about snow? I think it might be overdoing it for some areas. I don't think we're Dunsmere. I think Dunsmere might be a little bit too low in elevation, but we could see a dusting of snow in Chester and, of course, uh, getting closer to Quincy in Portola. Mount Shasta, okay, th as I mentioned, at the very least, a mix but maybe even a light dusting there. But there you can see some of the, the pink colors. I mean, you're talking over a foot of snow for some of those highest elevations. So this could be some of the most significant snow we've seen so far for the season. And I don't think I hear anyone complaining. I think the ski park uh, could pick up several inches of snow as well. Fingers crossed, right? That'd be a nice base at least. All right, so cool and unsettled this week. We took a look at the timing of the storms coming in through at least Thursday. There you can see the trough of low pressure. That's the colder air. That's the unsettled weather that is in place that continues through Friday. I think we'll see a break on Saturday. And then this system now looks like it may be moving through sometime around Sunday, Sunday night. And then by Monday, really looks like things are drying out. You see this? That's a ridge of high pressure. That ridge may hold on through a good portion of next week, keeping us fairly dry. So storms like this 
have a hard time breaking through that ridge and we typically don't see any rainfall out of it. So as a result, looking at the long range, instead of the wetter, we're kind of in that near normal category. And the reason it's near normal is because the tail end of these storms are going to be in this little uh, time frame here. But after that, after those storms kind of pass through, it's drying out for several days. So long range, let's take you all the way through Monday. The valley could see, an, I th I'd say about a half an inch, that's the darker blue, to a little over an inch. Where's most of the rain? All right, along the coast, especially to the north and west. Where's less rain? Off to the east here. So again, pretty typical when we're talking about the amount of rainfall that we're gonna see around here. There's the cooler temperatures that we do have in store for us in the long range, and that's what you can see here. However, you can see towards the middle and latter part of next week, we're at least getting closer to normal and should be somewhere in the mid to uh, maybe even some upper 60s in there as well. Now the wave heights are gonna be fairly high today. They retreat a little bit and then they come right back. We're not gonna see much change here over the next 24 hours. Now that's the reason why the National Weather Service has issued a small craft advisor today and even through the day tomorrow. South winds at 15 to 20 knots. All right, there's also a high surf advisory for the coast here through eight o'clock tonight. So not a good idea to be on the coast here, kind of some dangerous situations there. But taking a look at the Trinity County neighborhood forecast, looks pretty ominous, but yeah, we could see a chance for thunderstorms Wednesday and Thursday. We'll see that break today. Chance for thunderstorms, better chances along the coast here. Temperatures around 59 degrees for Eureka, as well as Blue Lake. We take it up north, about 59 for Gas Key. There's Smith River, about 57 and 60 in Hoopa. We take out to Siskiyou County, Mainly dry today, although places like Ashland, Doris, McDowell, Hornbrook, maybe Wairika Happy Camp could see a stray shower later this afternoon. More rain coming in tomorrow. Heavy rain at that and low elevation snow, maybe down to 3,500 feet. They're going to see Tule Lake 44, basically low to mid 40s for your daytime highs today in Modoc County. The Eastern Mountains, we're talking temperatures 40s and 50s, 48 for Shingletown, 54 in Paradise and 48 degrees in Portola. Take you to the valley, to the south, temperatures kind of just hovering around that 60 degree mark. Some of the warmer spots may get up to around 61, 62. Some of the cooler spots, maybe upper 50s. There you can see about 54 degrees for Whiskey Town as well as Lakehead. 59 for the city of Shasta Lake and Cottonwood. That's also the case for Red Bluff. So looking at your seven day outlook for Redding, there's that rain, wind coming in on Wednesday. Showers through Thursday, maybe even a few isolated thunderstorms, both Wednesday and Thursday, by the way. Friday, Saturday, I think we'll see a break. Then maybe some more showers coming in Sunday into Monday. That is your morning update. I'll be back again this afternoon. Until then, have yourselves a great morning.